Good morning, students. Today we will discuss why the properties of solid, liquid, and gases are different from each other with the help of few examples. In case of solid, solid particles are very close to each other due to the strong force of attraction among them, and the intermolecular space between the particles are very less, or we can say that negligible. so they are the particles of solid are fixed in a position they cannot move from one position to another therefore the solid particles are arranged in a manner and they have a rigid shape and fixed volume in case of liquid there is a little space between the particles of liquid therefore comparatively less force of attraction between the liquid particles and hence these liquid particles due to the less force of attraction among them they can slide over one another that is the reason so that they will take the shape of container in which it is poured or when we transfer the liquid from one container to another they can take the shape of that container you can see in this figure this is a beaker which is filled with water same amount of water when we will transfer in the glass it takes the shape of glass again this water when we will pour in this conical flask it takes the shape of conical flask and again it takes the shape of round bottom flask it means the liquid in which we will transfer that takes the shape of that container in which it is poured why because their particles are slide over one another due to the less force of attraction and a little space between them in gas particles are very away from each other so intermolecular space is large and very negligible force of attraction among the particles of gases that's why gases neither have fixed volume nor fixed shape the gases when we will transfer from one container to another it also takes the shape of that container as well as few particles are also can escape from the container so volume also changes when we are talking about the compressibility solid cannot be compressed much because solid their particles are very close to each other therefore when we applying the pressure over the solid it can be broken down no space to come close more liquid also cannot be compressed much because there is a little space between the liquid particle so it can come closer a little that's why it also cannot be compressed much but in case of gases their particles are very away from each other so that we can apply the pressure over gases when we applying the pressure over gases their particles are come close to each other and they can be converted into liquid their example is liquefied petroleum gas about fluidity solid cannot be flow because the position of solid particle is fixed so their particles cannot move from one position to another in case of liquid due to small space between the particles their particles can slide over one another or can move a little so that liquid can flow as well as gases also can flow because their gases particle are freely to move from one place to another hence gases and liquid both are in the category of fluid matter they can flow we have next topic diffusion diffusion means when a substance mixed with another due to its motion of particles is called diffusion that is written here substance when mixed with another substance due to the motion of its particles is called diffusion due to the diffusion process we can observe the smell of food being cooked in the kitchen from a large distance as well as uh, smell of incense stick or agarbatti smell of perfume these all we can observe due to the diffusion process in case of solid the position of particles is fixed therefore they cannot move from one position to another so the rate of diffusion in solid is minimum 
but it will happen in solid we cannot say that ki the rate of diffusion process is not happened or not taking place in the solid in solid it is very slow process the diffusion process is very slow in solid in case of liquid the rate of diffusion is little bit more than that of the solid in gases particles are very away from each other and kinetic energy is maximum therefore the rate of diffusion is maximum in gases the example in solid when you will write something on a blackboard and leave it uncleaned for a long time we will find that it is difficult to clean it after a long time because the particles of chalk they are mixed with the blackboard so it is difficult to clean example of liquid the diffusion process we can see in the liquid also when the copper sulfate that has blue color it can spread their color blue in the water when it is mixed so as well as the purple color of potassium permanganate also spread in the water these are the examples of diffusion in liquid diffusion in gas their example is smell of food being cooked in the kitchen also we can observe from a large distance as well as smell of incense stick smell of perfumes these all are the examples of diffusion of gas thank you